Hey guys, what's up? This is Nickel from The Motions and welcome to this brand new tutorial. Today we're gonna take a look at creating this cool liquid loading effect into After Effects and it's pretty simple but pretty useful technique you know. You can use it for creating some cool liquid type of motion graphics. Now here I have one more example. You can see by using the technique which I'm gonna show you today you can get some complex yet great effects now this is a pretty basic of this technique but once you get the idea of what i mean we will be good to go so let's just hop in and create a new comp 1920 into 1080 30 frames good to go then i'm gonna select the ellipse tool and create a shape just randomly then i'm gonna go to eclipse one ellipse one sorry and just uncheck the constraint properties and I'm going to set this to let's say 120 and 120 as well. Should look good. Yep, there we go. And then just turn on the constraint properties again. Then select the shape layer and make sure it's in the center. And also make sure that the anchor point is in the center too. Now, if you have a script like move anchor point, you can just easily get it in the center. And if you don't, then you can just go to the title action safe and selecting this tool you can you know move your anchor point in the center as well either either way doesn't matter then what we have to do is i'm gonna change the position of the ellipse so let's just bring this up to maybe right there but you have to keep in mind that the anchor point is in the center so i'll just make some room pretty quick just Good enough then I'm gonna go to the rotation properties there we go but not the rotation property of the transform ellipse you have to go in the rotation properties of the transform so let me see if it works yep there we go again make sure the anchor point is in the center so that it's gonna rotate from the center so I'm gonna set a keyframe and then let's just go maybe one second and ten frames forward in time and set this to 1. Now we have a complete rotation. So we don't want this title action save. We can just close this up. And now we should have something like this. Pretty boring animation. So now to make it look like a pretty cool animation. What we can do is. I'm going to select this keyframes. And hit F9 to easy ease them. And then I'm going to go to the graph editor. And. I'm gonna add some motion to it so as the circle comes down I want you know to get uh, a little fast I want the circle to move a little fast due to the gravity not actually due to the gravity but you know in physical environment it, it will work like that so I'm just gonna go to let's say yep, 20 frames select the points and just create a peak at, at 20 frames so should work yeah it looks pretty good i think it's pretty fast so let's just spread this out a little bit maybe i'll go to one second 20 frames and drag this in a little bit yeah should work good yeah i think it looks pretty good actually and then what we have to do is i'll just close this up then i'm gonna duplicate this and just bring this down and just open the contents go to ellipse go to ellipse path and change the size to let's say 100 and i'm gonna just offset it to let's say four frames should work good yeah let's just see what we have right here yeah looks pretty good and again the same thing i'm going to duplicate this thing by hitting ctrl d bring this down go to content go to ellipse and this time i'm going to make this let's say 80 should work good and again i'm going to go mm, four frames forward like i'm going to displace this four frames displace offset whatever you can call it doesn't mind at all just ctrl d and this will be my last Let's make sure I'm going four frames forward. Yep, there we go. 
and go to the contents ellipse part one ellipse part and change this to let's say 60 you can keep whatever you want but you know I figured this number to be good while working so yeah I'm gonna keep it right there so now we should basically have something like this so we kind of getting that effect but as you can see in the example we get this liquid effect now the way we're gonna achieve this effect is pretty simple but pretty useful for creating some liquid motion graphics so for that what we have to do is I'm gonna yeah oh, first of all before creating that effect what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new null so create a null object select all the circles and just parent them to null object now what this does is we can move the circles by holding the null so yeah we need that and why we need that we need to create a little bit of animation just a little bit as you can see after getting the circles in I want the circle to be in motion just a little it's very little but it can be pretty helpful at some times so now to achieve that effect what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hit R to bring down the rotation properties go all the way to the beginning hit on the stopwatch then I'm gonna come somewhere to around let's say one second and five frames should be good and set this to minus 25 and I'm gonna go where all the circles get in just maybe right there go to two seconds and set this to zero again so now we should have something like this a little bit of secondary animation you can say but it looks pretty good as you can see so just, just select this keyframe and hit F9 to easy ease it this should work pretty good yeah now you can see we get that cool effect pretty quickly okay so now we can just select it and pre-compose this I'm gonna call it circles or liquid whatever you want and I'm gonna add an effect called fast blur and change this to let's say 85 maybe should look good we should have something like this then I'm gonna add levels there we go and what we basically do is we're gonna set this to alpha and just compress the black and bring out the white now just, you know we don't want the blurry part so I can just get I don't want to go all the way there cause it will create some harsh edges to it so I'm gonna keep it a little softer so yeah yeah this looks pretty good so now we can have that effect as you can see and it looks pretty cool now to enhance it or give a highlight you can also add a what say a bevel to it so I'm gonna add bevel alpha select it and select the bevel alpha now you can't see it I guess pretty properly cause the layer is white so I'm just gonna pretty quickly I'll add a fill to it the color to a subtle blue I like it now let's check out the alpha maybe I'll set this to two let's crank this up set the fill up right there yep make sure the fill is above the bevel alpha so I'm gonna just play around and see what it's for me you can also you know change the direction of the light if you want you know set this to let's say somewhere around there and we should have kind of this effect you know now it started to take some shape and look like a liquid thing you can see you can also go forward and add a drop shadow to it so before adding drop shadow I'll just create a background so that you can see what's going on I'm gonna add a drop shadow to it. Oh, sorry for that. I'm gonna select the circles and add a drop shadow to it. 
there we go it's somewhere around there turn this to maybe 30 you can you know play around with the settings and figure out what else fits for you guys and yeah this kind of looks pretty cool let's set the softness to maybe 15 change distance to maybe 10 let's make this to 12 and yeah there we go now if you want to achieve this circles which you can see inside so it's pretty easy actually what you need to do is you need to just find the layers that's the comp one here's the comp one there we go and I'm gonna duplicate this control D comp two I'm gonna control C and control V you can basically duplicate the same layer but if you make any changes to it it's gonna apply in the second layer too so what we can do is actually I'm gonna recompose this again name it liquid for now control C go right there control V don't need the circles now and bam there we go you get the cool volley effect if you want you can keep it like this if you want or you can just hide it and you know create some cool stuff as I shown in the example you can create the same technique you can create this stuff you need, you need just some keyframes and now you basically know the technique I hope you know you're gonna create something cool and come out with some great ideas so yeah this is the end of the tutorial if you like my tutorial don't forget to like subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching guys